understand. Oh, hello and goodbye. I was just leaving. Take care, Peter. Well, Mr. Flint, I'm glad to find you in. You're a terribly hard man to track down, Mr. Flint. Y you asked Miss Ingle, well, what, what is it? What can you do? Well, I was wondering about the rent. It's almost a week till February, and I haven't had January's yet. I I'm sorry, you're, you're talking about the rent? Look, Mr. Flint, we have a policy. When you signed the lease, you agreed to it. Yeah, well, listen, if you'll give me another week, I'll have a job, and I'll be able to pay for both months. How's no, that? No, I'm sorry. That's not acceptable. You have one week. And if it's more than one week, we can evic evict you in three days. So, you're almost three weeks late as it is. I said I'd get the money for you in a week. How's that? Is that all right? N no, Mr. Flint. Three days and you're out. We're not in the business of making exceptions. Either you get the money or you find someplace else to live. Well, you know, you're all heart, Mrs. Engel. Look, Mr. Flint, I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Yeah, well, I don't argue with building managers. I just slam doors in their faces. Damn it! Veronica. She knows too much. <sighs> it was that close. Now I gotta do something. She knows too many people. She knows Kelly. <sighs> of course. Two birds and one stone. Veronica and the perfect alibi. <sighs> this is gonna work beautifully. 